Hello, my most beautiful besties in the entire world. As you guys can see, we are very much zoomed in. And the reason being is that I literally just got off of work and I want to go ahead and play with the Natasha Denona Roxa palette. Y'all, I spent my hard earned money on this and I want to know, was it actually worth it? Oh, say less. So if you guys want to see what my thoughts are on this, the two different eye looks I create, well then definitely keep on watching. Alrighty, so I literally just got off of work. Um, I've had this makeup on since like 10 a.m. It is currently 8.40, it's currently 8.47 at night. So this is how we're looking. Um, all I do is put on a new lip balm. <laughs> I'm not doing anything else. And I tried something different because recently I have been just been filming reviews the second I get off of work, but I've been too lazy to redo my makeup because well, Y'all, I ain't got time for that. I'm too exhausted, okay? <laughs> so I decided to do something a little different. I did this before with my Ainsley Rain Nutty by Nature review where I just wiped off the entire makeup, including the mascara, and I look like Fester from the Addams Family. It was a little scary. So I was like, you know, let me try something different. I just took a makeup wipe just to the top of my lid. So I hope this works. I don't know. This is trial and error. I usually don't film after work, but we have so much new makeup that I don't have a choice. So anywho, this is the brand new Natasha Denona Roxette palette. If you guys have been following me on my channel or watching my new makeup releases, you guys would know that I had a little bit of issues with this palette. I talked about it when I wasn't supposed to, and I got in trouble by the brand. And you know, I've already talked about this enough on my channel, but I bought it regardless. And so many of you guys were like, Bestie. Bestie, we're too petty. We would not have bought it in spite of that. And I was like, you know what? I hear you. But I want to know, was it actually worth it? So let's find out. And I do this on Sephora because for some reason, trying to do the pre-order or the, the early launch order on Natasha Denona's website, I was having a lot of trouble with it. I don't know why. I just was having a hard time finding it and then trying to get the link to actually work for me to buy it. I don't know what was going on. So it just ended up not working out for me. I ended up sharing it with you guys. You guys are saying that codes were not working, reward points were not working. So I don't really know what happened with that launch. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wait to Sephora. So I ordered this on Sephora's website. I did pay for express shipping and it didn't get here until yesterday. And I was like, Really? What time was you supposed to be here? So I reached out to my Sephora. I reached out to Sephora and they were like, oh, we're so sorry. Can we just credit you your, can we just credit your account with how much you paid for shipping? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to spend it anyway. So we have this right here. So this first off, this is how the package is looking. I barely touched it and look at how dirty she's getting. Shame, shame, shame. <laughs> okay, so this palette retails for $69 and it says, a bold limited edition 15 shade constellation of vibrant purples, fuchsia hues featuring the brand's iconic formula and debuting a silky matte formula. Inspired by the award-winning Lila palette, this eyeshadow palette offers a vibrant mix of vivid violets, pastel lavenders, rich fuchsias, and warm pinks in a Tasha Denona's iconic pro level formula. So I'm curious to know what shade they are referring to because when I swatched these, I did not notice anything feeling extra smooth, extra silky. Um, so we're gonna try this out. So I'm gonna start off with my eye base. I'm gonna do two different eye looks. And now you guys know that I typically never do a purple look or a pink look just because they are not my favorite looks. I've been slowly getting into like a purple blue because you guys are like telling me you need to do it. And I was like, okay, fine, I will. I've been slowly getting into the looks, but pinks and reds are still like my least favorite to work with. But we're gonna try to do two different eye looks. I'm gonna do like a pink look. I'm gonna do a purple I look, and I'm gonna try to play with as much colors as possible. Now, for some reason, I for sure thought this would be like a pure purple palette, but it's definitely not. It's definitely not. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this shade right here called, ah, I don't even know how to say that. This shade right here. Jacaranda, Jacaranda? Ooh, I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> I hate to butcher her name. We're gonna start with the shade and we're gonna start to put this in our uh, transition shade. So like I said, I'm just trying this out. I'm just trying new ways to incorporate filming out when I get off of work, just because I don't wanna like overwhelm myself with filming three or four videos a day because that just gets to be a lot. So we're just gonna try this out. And like I said, I am having like eight to nine hour makeup on my face 
And I decided to just leave the mascara because I'm going to put on false lashes. So I'm going to just leave it there because I make it easier to blend. So I hope this works. Um, if this doesn't and the formula performs badly, I'm honestly going to say it's probably my fault and not Natasha Denona's only because I know the formula for Natasha Denona brand. I reviewed so many of their palettes and they do have fantastic formulas. So if it's not performing well, I'm going to say it's my fault for not going on a clean base. But I'm working with the best that I got. I'm working with what I got here. So we're just going to lay this shade down. And then we're going to slowly start to blend, blend her out. Okay, so if you guys don't know, I work at Disney. And I work in the offices at Disney. And um, I usually either do morning shifts or nighttime shifts because Disney is an all-day park event. And so tonight I was working at nighttime. I was working at night off. I was working at nighttime. Um, I was working my nighttime hours. And usually whenever I leave the parks, there's never any guests in the park. And it's really nice because I can kind of like enjoy it to myself and I really enjoy that um I love working I love I love walking around the park at night by myself it's really nice but today was like a special after hour event for guesting at the resorts guys I'm gonna go into a shade right here called sweet pea oh, I used to love the sweet pea perfume from Walmart like mainstay whatever their brand was oh so good so anyway um, we were, me and my coworker were walking out we walked out. We're so used to walking out and not seeing any guests. Y'all, there was guests galore because they're doing a nighttime event. I was like, oh my gosh. And I thought to myself, I was like, you know, if I just take off my name tag, I can kind of blend in with the guests and hop on some rides and get some free food the way that they are. But then I realized they're all wearing orange bands and I was like, damn it. I would so try to sneak on if I could. See how that water... I think my neighbors are showering or they're taking a bath. Either way, I hope it's very relaxing for them. I am craving a nice hot shower right now. Ooh, that is looking really patchy right here. That looks like shit. Well, we're going to go over it with a shimmer anyway, but that looks really shitty. Again, I think it might be me more than anything else. I'm just going to lay this right here. Normally, I'm, I'm not really a big glitter glue person, but as of lately, I've just been going in with it. I don't know why. I feel like it definitely has been helping with some of the shimmers. Some brands I don't need to, but some of these shimmers in here, they do seem like they are more toppers than shimmers. So I really want them to lay down as nicely as possible. And I think because I do have my eyes kind of like already had foundation on them, I just want to make sure I'm giving this, this eyeshadow a fair chance. So we're going to go into the shade right here called um, Concord. Mm, I do love good Concord grape jelly. We're going to take this shade and we're going to put this right here. That's actually really pretty. You know what I really do like is that there's not much fallout with the palette, which is really nice. Then I'm going to go into the shade right here called Bait. I think this is really pretty. I love the way this looks, but it definitely is more purple than it is blue. But we're going to lay this right next to that. Okay, and then I'm going to take the shade right here called Star Girl. Star Girl! And we're going to put that right next to that right there. Okay, and then um, for the under eye, I am gonna go into the shape, the shape, the shade Orchard, 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 Jesus Alley. And we're gonna start to just place this right under here. If it will allow me to. And then I'm gonna take the shade called Velour. And we're going to blend that right next to that. I'm going to go into the Glam Light. X Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? I'm going to go into this one right here. I'm going to go into this highlight. It's like almost like a blue highlight. Like that's going to complement this really well. We're going to put that in the inner corner and brow bone. Like right here. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm going to like spice up my highlighter a little bit. My face is pretty getting a little oily but you know what we're just gonna spice it up boom okay then i think for eyeliner i'm gonna go into like this lavender color eyeliner okay let me actually um i'll throw on lashes at the end because i feel like it'd be weird well let me just throw on a lash really fast okay guys so i threw on a half lash i am wearing the robert welsh collaboration blend bunny half lash and i did go with in with the shade caught eclipse right here to line my upper waterline to to mix with my false lashes i have to say damn it <laughs> um i did not want to 
fall in love with this palette. At the end of the day, I did not want to love this brand because after my experience of dealing with them, um, it definitely kind of surprised me how my interaction went. So I just generally bought this to do a genuine review. I generally bought this to do a God honest review and I wasn't expecting to love it because purple is not my favorite color to use. And uh, I'm liking her. I'm not gonna hurt a lot. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do the other eye look. Was not expecting to really enjoy this, but you know what? At least as of right now, I'm getting my money's worth. So I guess it does count for something. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. I used my Sigma Eye Base. It's just in the shade Ignite, just in case. And now we're gonna go in with a pinky eye look. Pink, pink, pink. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the shade right here called Surise or Circe, how I'm gonna read it as, uh, like a Game of Thrones style. And we're gonna do something very similar where I'm just gonna put this straight into my crease shade and then we're gonna blend it out. So I'm just gonna put this right here. Ooh, she's pigmented. Now this one, I'm kind of worried that this one's going to stain. Usually like reds and pinks really do tend to stain my lid. You guys actually told me to use coconut oil to help remove the staining, which I really appreciate the tips. Um, but I just don't want this to stain because I have to be up at 6 a.m. tomorrow for work. And I don't want them to be like, you okay? Your eyes kind of red. I'm like, oh, don't worry. It's just eyeshadow. You know what I mean? I'm asking this for all my friends out there. Um, out of curiosity, do you guys ever have one good eye, one bad eye? I feel like this is always my good eye. I feel like this is always my bad eye. Like, I don't. I feel like it's shaped differently. It just looks different. Like, I always feel like it's rougher on this side. Am I the only one that experiences that? All right, I'm gonna go into the shade called Heather right here to help to slowly blend that out. I'm gonna go into Phoebe right here to help to uh, blend that out even more. It's like a like a white gray shade. All right, so I'm gonna take that same shade. I'm gonna fill it in right here, and then like before, we're gonna take my glitter glue and we are going to see if we can do some of these pretty like pink colors. Now there's one shade in here that I think is really pretty. It's called Flutter. It looks so pretty, but I definitely feel like this is an eyeshadow topper than it is a like actual like shimmer so we're gonna see how well it actually performs so that's why i'm laying down glitter glue everywhere and then i'm gonna go into the shade right here called um brink we're gonna go into sh shade right here called brink right here and we're gonna put that right in the outer v like so oh that is so pretty that is such a pretty color. It actually almost looks like a dual crumb. Looks like there's some purple reflex to it. That's really pretty. All right, let's go into the shade right here called Flutter. Let's try this out. This really feels like a topper to me, but we're gonna try this. Okay. Definitely is rather sheer, very silky, but also feels very sheer. And then I'm gonna take a shade right here called Dixie. This is another like really pretty like dual chrome shade, I feel like. Yeah, this is like a pink blue. We're gonna put this right here. And then I'm gonna do exactly what I did on this eye, but on this side, I'm gonna take the shade called Eclipse. We're just gonna quickly line my upper waterline with it. This is the easiest way for me to put on um, to do liner without doing a liner. I just got mascara in my eye. Oh! All right, so for the under eye, I think I'm gonna do the same thing like I did on this side. I'm just gonna use the same colors. So I feel like that'd be really pretty. So I'm gonna go back into that orchard shade, the orchard shade one more time. We're gonna blend this out right here. Definitely a lot more fallout on this side than on the other side I'm noticing. It's more of that like shimmer topper shade that I'm noticing that's doing it than anything else. All right, now we're gonna go into this little highlight right here. We're gonna use this as our inner corner brow bone and highlight as well. I feel like that'd be really pretty. Cause this has like a purple pink shift to it. We're just gonna add this right here. Yeah, that is perfect. Okay guys, so here is the final look with both eyes done. You have the purple side and you're gonna have this pink side right here. I do think they're really pretty, I do. I'm not nearly as in love with this side as I am with this eye. I think this eye is just really pretty. This eye I think is really cute. I like her, but she's not wowing me the same way this is. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys out and I'll give you guys my final thoughts on this. Oh, <laughs> look at the face. The face is getting a little, a little shiny. So let me just um kind of just like tap over it with my 
a leftover. Oh, this is just making it worse. Well, you know what? I'm kind of far away. See, I can't, you guys can't see the imperfection. You can't see the imperfection. It's fine. It's fine. Just absorbing the excess oil. Okay. So this is the final look right here. Like I said earlier, I do think both eye looks are really pretty. I definitely prefer this side way over this side. So I'm just going to quickly go over this. So first off, here's the outside packaging. To me, the outside packaging is nothing wowing. It looks so dirty because my fingerprints, I hate that it does that, but it is what it is. You're going to have 15 shades in here, a mix between mattes and shimmers. There's supposed to be a brand new silky formula in here. I don't know which matte it was because I pretty much did use every single matte. I did use every matte. I used every matte in here. So I couldn't tell you which one's the new silky MAC formula. It's the Forza website didn't say, so I don't know if it's really this amazing thing. I will say that there wasn't as much fallout like I thought there would be with the mattes. There definitely is more fallout with the shimmers, but I do think the mattes do performed really, I do think the mattes performed really nicely. They were very easy to blend out. I thought they were gonna be patchy, but it really wasn't patchy at all. It worked really nicely. Then we do have the shimmers. I really do like the shimmers. I think they perform really nicely. The only thing I wasn't the biggest fan of the shade right here called Flutter. This seems more like an eye eyeshadow topper than anything else so you would definitely need to lay this on top of like another eyeshadow or you can lay it down on top of glitter glue to get it to really perform but I had to go in several times just to build up a pigment which I'm not the biggest fan of I want to have pigment immediately and not have to work as hard for it especially for the price point so that's the only thing I did not like was that shade right here the rest do perform really nicely now is this the most wowing palette in the world no absolutely not but is it beautiful damn it yes Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. And you guys know that I typically never go for something like this because I don't really wear a lot of purples and pinks. They're just, I don't know, something I never really gravitate to. And I really should because I ended up always loving the colors. I, would, I always end up loving the looks I create with them. And then you guys are always like, bestie, do it more. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know why I don't. Now, I don't have really any palettes to compare this to. I don't have the Love palette. I did declutter that a while ago. Um, I don't have some of the other palettes, like the Lila palette they're referring to. Like the only other palette I have is like purple theme. It's like my Glam Light Wine one, but that is so far different from this and you can't even buy that one anymore. So I don't really have anything to really necessarily compare it to. But what I will say is that I spent $69 on this plus tax and shipping. And to me, it was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> so regardless of like what happened to me in the brand, this is a beautiful palette. It speaks for itself. Now, do you need this? No. But if you do want to get it, I have several suggestions for you. One, you guys can go to Natasha and Dona's website. You guys can use my code to save 15% off. Or two, wait till next Friday because that's when Sephora is during their holiday saving event. So whether you're a Rouge, VIP, or Beauty Insider, you can save between 20, 15 to 10% off. Or three, wait till Black Friday. There might be some amazing sales during Black Friday. This could very well be like 30% off. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to what Natasha Janelle does on her website in terms of Black Friday sales. But if you really want to get it, you could definitely pick it up. But I suggest waiting for a sale. Also, I'm pretty sure, give it a time, I'm pretty sure Ulta Ego will ultimately end up duping this at some point next year. So just give it some time. But overall, I do think it's a really beautiful palette. I am glad that I got it. I do love this purple eye look so much. I think it's so pretty. And the pink eye look is really nice, but for some reason this purple is just what's really calling my name. So that is it for my Roxa palette review. Ultimately, She's freaking worth it, damn it. And I didn't want to say that. I want to be, I want to come on here and be like, <laughs> this palette sucks. I should have not gotten it. But you know, it speaks for itself. It, my hair is crazy. It speaks for itself. So thank you so much for being here again on another after work session with me. Alley, where I come to you after I do all day Disney to film more makeup looks for you. Thank you for dealing with my um, leftover makeup. But you know what? It's life. It's life. But why is she not working? My hair is looking a little rough today. But that, my most beautiful friends in the entire world, is it for today's video. Let me know down below what your guys' thoughts on this palette. Do you like it? Do you not? Because y'all, I asked you guys on my community page what you guys thought about this. And the way that you guys showed up for me was just incredible. I read every single one of your comments. I didn't get to respond back to every single one of them, but I was, I read every single one and I just loved hearing your guys' thoughts on this palette. It was so insightful, so wonderful. And it's just why I love you guys so much because you guys are just very kind. You're very you guys are very kind. You guys are not afraid to share your opinions. And even if you guys disagree with me, you guys are very kind about it. And that is what I love. So thank you guys so much for giving me such an input on this. I wanted to get it because you guys pretty much were saying like 90% yes, go get it. We want to see a review on it. So that's what I did. And you know, I'm really happy I did. I'm really happy that I did.
So with that said, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you guys have not already because I do post three to four videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channels, R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and you guys, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe either way. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you and I'll see you guys in my very next video. Bye. My voice went oddly high there.